Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and I'm here with another fun fold on Friday. Uh, we're gonna make a peekaboo card. Very simple, so cute. I love this little kitty. This is from the Fluffiest Friends stamp set, and there's coordinating dies. You can get it as a bundle and save 10%. And this is an online exclusive, so you won't find it in the catalog. Sometimes uh, I think people miss out on some really cute things. So um, I made this, this is a peekaboo card, and I'm, I'm kind of following my calendar. I have a calendar that I send out to my email list. And every Friday I do a, a fun fold. Thursdays I do a um, color combo. And then there's just various things. I do a sketch, sketch each week. And if you want to follow along, just sign up for my email, uh, patty at PS Paper Crafts. Or go to my blog. You can uh, click on there and sign up, uh, www.pspapercrafts.com. And then each month you will... Uh, get the inspiration calendar that hopefully will inspire you uh, to make some some cool things. So excuse me, I have a cold. I um I have a cough drop in my mouth, so I'm hoping to get through this without uh, coughing or sneezing. But um, anyway, let's get started. This one is uh, using Parakeet Party, and then I uh, did some ink blending with azure afternoon and this next card we're going to use the same set we're going to use this cute little bear and we're going to do the reverse we're going to use azure afternoon and then we're going to do our um blending with the parakeet party i thought they were a fun and cute um combination so we have our card base normal standard card base and i will have instructions there's not a lot of measurements with this it's more just um watching but i will have a project sheet with the measurements and the instructions and all the products that i used for these cards um so let's get started i do need my um stamp and cut and die machine so i'm going to have that out i'm going to have the plate two and one of the cutting plates a plate three and i'm going to use the die it's a cute die that comes in this set to create this little um cave or uh, whatever you would want to call it so this these are the dies that cut the animals and then the bird's nest and there's uh some other things leaves and things like that there's a balloon there's a lot of cute things in this set there's a and i was going to use this i see this um in the online picture the beehive with a branch and I thought that was cute but we're just going to stick with the kind of a simple card right now so I want to put this on here I have my fold here I want to center it between side to side and I want to give it a little bit of room on the bottom so I have room below it and then I have room for my um, uh, sentiment on top so we're going to just put this on press it down make sure it's still even and it looks like it's over to the right a little bit. My um, my plate here is warped, my bottom plate, so it might be time to uh, switch it around. I usually try to keep a top plate that I don't cut, and I just use it as a top plate. And then when it's time to switch plates, I replace, I make the top plate my new bottom plate, and then I um get rid of the bottom plate so i only am really replacing one plate at a time i'm seeing my ups guy outside and i'm just gonna stop so my dog doesn't bark okay sorry about that he's gone my dog didn't bark he didn't come to my door and ring the doorbell so <laughs> we're all good i was hoping it was a stampin up order but maybe tomorrow so we're going to take this out you could save this for scrap for other use maybe a label or something like that and then we're done with our machine and now we have our peekaboo piece so let's put this back here and we're going to get just your inside layer which is four by five and a quarter and we're going to lay this in here kind of where we want it and I just want to draw a light pencil around here so I know where to stamp. I don't want to stamp outside of this little area. Here's my pencil. 
So just very lightly, just draw around. And then we'll erase that. And it just gives you an idea of where you want to do your stamping. Okay, so I have my cute little bear uh, mounted. And I am going to stamp him in black memento. Because I'm going to color him with Stampin' Blends. So when you use Stampin' Blends, those are the alcohol-based, the square markers. You want to use a memento ink. Okay. So we will stamp him and i'm going to go down by the line maybe have his foot go a little bit below the line and i am going to put grass like i did on the other card um to kind of go along the bottom not cute he's really adorable so he's going to sit there we'll have a little grass going up there and we're going to color him um so we want to just erase this Okay, the ink blending may cover it anyway, but it's good to erase it. So now we're gonna color him with our blends and I chose um, light pecan pie and I'm just gonna color him and I might add some dark pecan pie just to shade him a little bit. So we're just gonna color. There's a, a blunt tip and then a flare tip. I like to, I've been using the blunt tip uh, more often because I feel like I have better control but if you have something big, you can use the other tip. So we'll just color him in. And these color so nicely, I love these. Unfortunately, we don't have, I wanted to use crushed curry for the honey, which I am going to use, but I'll use the stamp and write markers. They don't color as nicely they're the water-based, but I think that um, on something small like that, it's not going to be a problem. Sometimes you can see the lines, but you can use a blender pen and kind of hide that. Okay, he looks cute. Now you can do some um, blending if you wanted to do kind of where the dark lines are. I'm not a good um, colorer. <laughs> I just kind of go with what they have. And um, some people do beautiful jobs. I just color. I love to see what other people do. But I'm just kind of Go with what they show and then we'll just go over that a little bit to blend it in so it's not so harsh okay i'm going to add some petal pink to the face and the the foot so i have some dark petal pink and I'll just add it to the bottom of his foot here, just so it's not white and it stands out from the, the pecan pie. Now I could go in on his nose and make it darker, but I think I'll be good with that. So here's where I'm going to use the um, crushed curry and this, so you'll see these are the alcohol, they're kind of square and these are the Stampin' Right. These you can color beautifully with, um, can't color your stamps with it. These you can color on your stamps and then stamp it on. So this is a water-based color. So I'm going to just try to get this honey. There's not much there, but I thought this was a good color for honey. And since we didn't have the, the marker, the uh, blends, I should say, and I'm wondering if I should add a little Wink of Stella. It's a little bit dark, darker than I thought it was going to be, but we're good. Okay, so I'm using light um, smoky slate to color his jug, the honey jar. I 
Winnie the Pooh would be very happy with this. I love Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so he's done, and I think he's really cute. So now we're going to do our ink blending. So we have our blending brushes, and I kind of use the same brush for different colors. So these, this is my green brush, even though it looks dark. I'm going to use it with Parakeet Party. And uh, let me just put this up here so I have a, it's uh, stable. This thing, this is the new mat that you can get if you join during um, celebration. If you join as a demonstrator, you can get this mat with this, and this doesn't move. <laughs> I also want to have this underneath it so I can do this. Well, this doesn't move, but this does. There you go. And I want to just start out here, and I'm just going to, Oh, I missed a step. So I actually cut with the dies this um, this piece to cover him up. I am going to uh, lightly do the green, so it probably wouldn't matter, but maybe on his nose and the honey. Um, so this is the piece. I just die cut it from a piece of post-it note at the top where it's sticky so I can put it down. So now we're masking off the um the bear so we can add our color without going over the bear and it takes a little bit to get the ink loaded kind of into this so as you go it'll pick up more and more ink and i always like to store it on the outside on scrap paper so that i can um not have this blotch because sometimes when you put it down your, your first um, touch is kind of blotchy if that makes sense and I'm going to just turn them around a little bit and we'll just ink up until we get the color we want and you could just keep going and uh, make it darker I don't want it too dark I just wanted to add a little color so it wasn't such a stark white Let's do a little bit more at the top, and then we'll put it in and see what it looks like. And just take your time with this. You don't have to press hard. Just go over it. I like to use circle motions. Let's see. Now the one thing, so let's just look at it and then I'll just tell you what I'm going to do on top of this. So see, it's just a soft look, but I don't really like this white line around him. So I'm gonna just go right over him. It won't show through the, the brown, but I'm just gonna get the ink out and make it not so harsh. It's not a lot of ink. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna put this away, put this away, and here's our card. So before I put it down, I am going to also stamp um, the sentiment. Now I picked the sentiment is from the Hooray for Surprises, and I wanted on the inside something small. The thing with this card is you don't want to have anything go below this even when you're writing it you know just write your to and you're from up above you can have your card open to see kind of as a guide how far down you want to go okay so let's get our stamping done and i have it mounted so this one says you are simply amazing and i am going to do it in black and it matches kind of the bear and i think it will show up good against the uh, the green. So I'm going to put it way up here. You are simply amazing. Now on the outside, I'll put a color, but on, on this one, because it's like this, I wanted to um, put something darker. Okay, so let's put this down right in the card. Let's get rid of 
this. All right. I just think these little critters are so adorable. Okay. And then I have these grass pieces that I cut using the dies, and it gives you two of them. So, um, see them? They're down at the bottom. So I cut out three of them, and they are from uh, Shaded Spruce, I believe. And I'm just going to put them along the bottom just to make it um, so it's not so sharp here. So let me get my glue, and I feel like this is an empty one. This one feels better. And I'm just going to put glue along the bottom, just at the bottom edge. This is already bursting out. This must be a new glue, because I don't want the glue to be up in here. So let's just start it going outside a little bit. And then we'll do another one. Yeah, this glue is, let me get it. <laughs> I feel like it's coming out. You know how you have lotion and it keeps spurting out? So I did my two outside pieces and then I'm gonna do the middle piece right over them. And it kind of blends in. I'm gonna dot this, because it's still coming out. Usually I can't get the glue out. This time it's, it's uh, streaming out. So then this one will go right over. Okay, there is a little glue there. But I think that's okay. I won't press it hard. Now, we want to do our sentiment. And this is, I kind of measured it to fit close to the sentiment. So it is like an inch and a quarter. And then we'll cut it down once we, um, once we stamp. So I'm going to use the Azure Afternoon. I love this color. And we'll do the hope your birthday is wonderful. So I really made them the same, just different colors and different um, critters. A lot of times I'll make my cards completely different from each other. Whoops. Wow. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. That's the other side. I think I did it crooked before I put it down when I made my, my sample. Oh my goodness, everything's in the way. So that's the great thing. You just turn it over and use the other side. Now I could cut this down by hand, but it's a little bit big for me. So I'm gonna just take my trimmer and trim it down and maybe trim off a little bit here. I just wanted it to be a kind of a, a tight little um, sentiment. <clears throat> Okay, and on this I put butterflies, and I'm trying to think whether I want to stamp bees. There's a bee stamp in here, and I think that would go good with him, right? Probably should have done that first. Well, we'll give it a try. I'm going to wing it. Probably should have done that before I got rid of everything. Um, no, I'm going to stick with the butterflies. <laughs> I'm going with the flow or making my own flow. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm going to do until I'm at that point. So we'll just take off the backs. I'm trying to decide because I would like those little bees. Just put this right here, right? Should I do the bees? I 
I feel like I could do these here. Let's do it. <coughs> so I'm going to take my black memento. This is dangerous. <laughs> Don't try this at home. I should have done this way before. Let's uh, do it on a piece of scrap first, just to make sure it's all inked up good. Okay. And I suppose the bees could be, well, I'll do it like this. I was thinking one could be out there, but you don't want half a bee. Should I do another one? I think I'm gonna do just one. Let me just clean this off. And I'm just gonna do this one, just ink up this one. He's gonna kind of go rogue. There we go. That's cute, right? And then let's give it a little color. Make them uh, get a little yellow in there. I'll do that while it's open. Just on their bodies. I was trying to figure out what the body was and what the wing was. Some of them are up and some of them are down. I think that's really cute. What do you think? And is there a die for the bees? No. That's okay. I was thinking I would put something up here, but I think that's really cute. What do you think? I think they're both cute. I love this little fluffiest friends set. So here's the one and here's the other. All right, um, so you can click on the link below for the project sheet. Um, my blog link is there. You could shop with me there. So whatever you want to do, um, I hope you enjoy this and try to make a, a peekaboo card. All right, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.